Well, yeah, so I mean, it sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? You, you say, well, you know, we've all seen Hollywood films where asteroids come and don't look up, right? Brilliant film, I think, where an asteroid comes and we don't even believe it. So you see it and people don't even believe the thing's coming. But that's real, right? That we know that the dinosaurs, other than the birds, were wiped out by a big asteroid impact 65 million years ago. We know that. So it occasionally big pieces of rock hit the Earth. And occasionally those big pieces of rock are big enough to cause mass devastation that easily take out a city, pretty easily take out a country, sometimes take out, like the one that took out the dinosaurs, take out pretty much every big living thing on the planet. That's happened before and it will happen again. Now, the big planet killer, so-called planet killer asteroids are very rare. It's something like one every hundred million years or so, roughly, you'd imagine. And we had one about 60 odd million years ago. But the little ones that can take cities out, there was one in Siberia, I think it's 1908, I might be slightly wrong, but roughly the first bit of the 20th century, that exploded in an airburst over Siberia and flattened an awful lot of forest. And if that had happened over a city, it would have flattened an awful lot of city. So these things happen. What we do now is we look for them quite sensibly. So we map the orbits of the big asteroids, we've got most of them, we think, that cross the Earth's orbit, and we monitor them all the time. And we have a, what's called a keyhole system, and it says that if, if, if one of these asteroids goes through this point in space at this time, then we're worried about it, and we'll be very careful and we'll watch it. So we're watching them, and if one goes through the keyhole, then you, what you need to do is nudge it a bit so it doesn't hit the Earth. And the DART mission was the first mission designed to make sure that if we really want to hit an asteroid with something, then we can do it. And it's hard. And so we did it. It was a very clever mission because it's a double asteroid system. So the, the little one, that one of them was hit, so there's two of them going around each other. Then we hit one of them, and that means that you can measure the orbit afterwards of these two things orbiting around each other to see how much we deflected it. So it's a smart thing to do. So we're really developing the technology so that if we have to hit a big one and move it away, then we can do that. So we'd have less trouble with the asteroids. At the moment, we'd have an awful lot of trouble with the comet. I don't, I, there's nothing we could do, actually.